Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week comes from Christine Sills, who's having trouble with her Xeon zoysia lawn in the front yard. Last year it was healthy and thick, like her zoysia in the back. Then, last June, a yellow spot started developing and expanding. Now it's a round circle of bare dirt. Christine says that the problem area is sloping and doesn't collect much water, so she hesitated to think the problem was disease-oriented. And a lawn maintenance company told her that she had chinch bugs because she wasn't watering enough. Despite the company's treatments, aeration, and monthly fertilizers, things were just getting worse. So what's going on here? There are a lot of details to take into account, so we first sent Christine's photos to Wizzy Brown, my fabulous entomology colleague at the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service, to see if she thought the chinch bug diagnosis was correct. But she says that's not likely. Insect damage tends to be more patchy, and the damage here is clearly round and spreading out uniformly. That uniformity of expansion is more associated with cultural practices, in other words, irrigation, fertilization, and soil compaction problems, or with disease issues. Since Christine mentions that she had the lawn aerated and fertilized, we concluded that the damage was likely caused by brown patch, a fungal disease that thrives in just the conditions that were present in Christine's yard at the time she first noticed problems. Brown patch is most likely to become a problem during the late spring or early summer, when days are very warm but nights are still relatively cool. Heavy dew is also most prevalent under these conditions, giving the fungal spores all the element that it needs to have explosive growth. So what should be done to rejuvenate the area and keep the disease from returning and spreading? First, I'd suggest aerating again to be certain that there'll be good drainage. Next, remove all of the affected turf, plus a little extra around the perimeter just to be sure. You've removed all of the potential for any errant spurs to regrow. Then treat preventatively with a labeled fungicide and re-sod the area. And be sure not to overwater, especially during spring and early summer when the air is much more humid. Our plant this week is annual vinca, commonly called periwinkle. Many people stop planting this heat-loving annual due to its sensitivity to aerial phytophthora, a fungal disease that wipes out entire beds of vinca almost overnight. My colleagues have done some fabulous work developing cultivars that are almost entirely immune to this disease, and the Cora series has proven to be a real Texas superstar. I received a few of these plants several years ago when we were just starting to trial them across the state, and they continue to look great in my garden. They thrive in the heat and full sun of the harshest Texas summers, and they return from seed year after year. Even during our recently extremely wet spring, with days upon days of rain and weeks of clouds and high humidity, my vinca looked great. Plant Cora vinca from transplants in full sun or light shade in late spring or early summer once soil temperatures have warmed up. Once established, vinca will do just fine with moderate moisture and only light fertilization. With beautiful bright pink, light pink, or white flowers, these periwinkles get about a foot and a half tall and about as wide. There are also trailing types which look great in containers or hanging baskets. Our viewer picture this week goes to Mary, who took out the front yard lawn to plant lots of organic vegetables. She and her husband are even growing some for a neighbor who isn't able to garden these days. Thanks, Mary. What a wonderful thing to do. We love to hear from you, so please visit us at klru.org to send us your questions, projects, and pictures. Mm -hmm.